Are you ready, kids? As soon as I pulled that big old yellow square woman up on the screen, all I thought was, oh! She lived in a pineapple under the sea. Then came on my show and tried to diss me. Then got on the panel and started talking shit. But she knew that she damn well wanted my dick. Ready? SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> If, 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 if I lay down with you and get you pregnant tomorrow, would you? God, like I hope not ever. God, well, please. <laughs> well, whatever. But the point is, the point is. A few moments later. That's a horrible excuse. Right. So it's a horrible excuse to say. Right, and that's that's one reason why I wouldn't even lay down with you to begin with. You're. Like, you know? that, I guess that's another conversation. Yeah, because apparently you don't know how to stick to the one that's being had. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus. I'm nervous. You so you so you nervous so you'll be disrespectful. See, that's what happens when you're dealing with black women. Seriously. What? Oh, you said that's the, the only way you can walk. All the X. No, it isn't. You could go to Rumble. This isn't the only way. And, and and sexy red, come on back, sexy red TV. This is not the only way you can watch. You can go over to Rumble or you can go over to Twitch. Y'all trying to avoid going the other way. Y'all want to stay here. But I want you to understand. Oh, Sexy Red TV is back. Hello, Sexy Red. Hello? Hi, how you doing? I'm well, how are you? I'm well. Um, The topic, why you got to go in on this though? Not just playing. <laughs> No, 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 no. I, I, I can explain everything I'm saying, but, but go know. ahead. What, what are your thoughts of what I'm saying so far? I agree. Um, I definitely agree. There was a time where, for me, it was a phase, and <clears throat> I got out of it. I was getting dressed, um, and I had a guy over, and I had my braids to the back, and I'm getting dressed, and it's somebody that I'm familiar with, and I'm putting on a wig, and I was like, this feels so unnatural. So since that day, it it became more of because it's an enhancement. It's not supposed to be. I'm a licensed nail tech and a licensed esthetician. So it's supposed to be enhancements. It's not supposed to take over your hair or your well, nails. Well, hold on a minute. Let me say something to you. Listen to the words that you use. Mm -hmm. You said it's supposed to enhance. If that's what you want for an event. You know what I mean? I know. Go ahead. I was just telling you that the words we use, we have to be careful. But I'm glad you're using them. I just, not, I just try to point them back out. I'm not to good you. with them. No, no, no. That's okay. I did, <laughs> this, I did the same thing to my aunt. I caught my aunt, and and she stepped back from it. But I, I think a lot of things are so ingrained in us, yes, that we don't know we're doing it. It's like how we refer to women as bitches, yes. Like you know, that just the word bitch, and we don't mean anything by it. It's just what we call a woman, or women mm -hmm. called men niggas. And they don't Did mean you? anything about it until somebody points out, hey, it's very difficult for us to show any love towards each other mm -hmm. when we're calling each other nigga and bitch. Facts. Do you think that comes from like the Jim Crow era when we were kind of like forced to kind of simulate and work for these people and we had to make sure our hair was lied, dyed and frayed to, laid to the side? In well, and isn't that funny them? that the first black millionaire was a black female mm -hmm. who figured out how to make black hair straight? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why, so why is it that we celebrate this woman and not think that if we believe that there was, a, and I'm going to say something and I know mm -hmm. it's going to throw y'all off and then people going to hate me or, and then the other people going to try to use my argument. Here we go. We talk about who? Willie Lynch. What do we yes. say Willie Lynch did? Willie Lynch figured out a way to program the black mind. That's what they say, mm -hmm. even though it's fake. But yeah. we're just going to go and pretend that the Willie Lynch letter is real. Okay. What happened is man wrote this letter, sent it out to all the slave owners to show how you could Break the black mind without mm -hmm. breaking the body because the body will soon follow. Well, if that's the case. And look where we are now. Right. So if that's the case, though, wouldn't that black woman who invented this stuff mm -hmm. to change the black hair, wouldn't mm -hmm. she have broken the black mind to assimilate to white, white people? Because remember, <sighs> you could have told white people, except the way my hair is. But instead, you, ass you assimilated well, we and tried created a product that then made it okay 
for mm -hmm. black women to continuously hate their hair. But remember, we tried over and over Rosewood, um, other ma uh, race riots. They disseminated. They they destroyed our cities where we flourished by ourselves. And then every time we try and come up by ourselves, it comes to get wiped away by other well, people. Well, hold on a don't. second. Do you know these people called Jews? You know them? Yeah. How many countries have Jews been kicked out of? I'm not familiar. Over 111. Mm hmm. Almost every country the Jews go to, they get kicked out of. It. Yeah. Jews were almost exterminated by the Germans. Everywhere they go, they get kicked out. Mm -hmm. Let's not act like we're the only ones who have a problem or that people have done things to us. We know better but we're now. Talking, but we're specifically talking about us. No, so no, what I'm saying is, I no, feel like what you're I'm just saying moving is the we needle. cannot use it as an excuse if other mm -hmm. people have overcome it. Okay. If, 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 if I lay down with you and get you pregnant tomorrow, would you? God, not I hope not ever. God, well, please. <laughs> well, whatever. But the point is, the point is, if you if I were to do this, would you give me the excuse of my dad didn't take care of me and his dad didn't take care of him and his dad didn't take care of him? So I'm not going to take care of my child. Um, I don't, I'm sorry, I didn't follow. Is it? Can you hear me? OK. No, I can hear you fine. And apparently other people can hear me. The brother in the background, I see he's listening to me fairly well. I see him wondering people how you say my hear volume me. is low. Your hey. volume? Yeah. You're on drugs? No, mm, my volume. Volume. The sound. <laughs> <laughs> so she went out of her way to try to make it seem like getting pregnant by me was the most disgusting shit ever. I, I, I gotta that. help the God, I hope not. I know, I, I, I let her have it because I don't mind because I don't give a fuck because I don't, you know. I, we up here playing. We up here playing. I'm having a good time. I don't know. But the point is, that I'm having a good time with a with an actual analogy, though. And then you just lost what was being said, which was simple. Would you give me the excuse of I'm not taking care of our child because my dad didn't take care of me mm -hmm. and his dad didn't take care of him and his dad didn't take care of him? That's a horrible excuse. Right, so it's a horrible excuse to say. Right, and that's that's one reason why I wouldn't even lay down with you to begin with. You're like, you know, but that, I guess that's another conversation. Yeah, because apparently you don't know how to stick to the one that's being had. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus. I'm nervous. Is you so you so you nervous so you'll be disrespectful. See, that's what happens when you're dealing with black women. Seriously, this woman went from saying, "I'm nervous." So I'll be disrespectful. Well, ma'am, if we're going to play that game, I'll play it. We saw the picture. We saw that one was built like SpongeBob. You ain't never seen me with a square chick like that. And I'm not talking about her personality. She walking around looking like the progressive box. All I think about is saving money on my insurance when I seen her. Soon as I pulled that big old yellow square woman up on the screen, all I thought was, oh, she lived in a pineapple under the sea. Then came on my show and tried to diss me. Then got on the panel and started talking shit. When she knew that she damn well wanted my dick. Ready? SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> now I don't know why you came up here like that, ma'am, but damn. The point is, why do they use that same old lame ass excuse? Oh, they put it in our heads. I thought black women were supposed to be strong. What? Here we what the fuck? Are so